Hi, I'm Alexis with Shockerty, and today I am here to speak to you about how to get out of survival mode. So my specialty is in teaching energetics and intuition. And so let's look at how survival mode can be connected with on an energetic level. The power really resides in the ability to recognize when you are in this place. When you are in an acute survival state and may experience something as intense as an adrenaline rush, it's going to be pretty obvious to you that that's the state you're in. When you're in more of a chronic state of survival, this may be keeping you locked into the root, locked into the root chakra and locked into a chronic underlying sense of fear. So let's talk about this. Okay, so if we look at the energetics of what survival mode is, this is really an expression of your energy not being in your physical body. When you are in such a survival state and chronic state of stress and fear, your energy and your awareness is not inhabiting your physical form. At least it's not fully inhabiting your physical form, which means that you are not embodied in your physical body. So this can present as an unrooting of lower energy. So if you start to notice when you get into a state of fear and you feel fear really at the at the, the, the root of what's going on with you, you may feel your energy start to rise up and almost snap up from the lower energy centers. Then there can be a tendency to begin to project forward. So there's a snapping up as the energy rises and starts to disconnect and maybe even pop out of your body through the crown chakra. Your energy may also start to project forward and it can get pretty graspy. There can be a graspy quality to this, which may be easily perceived and picked up on by those around you or other people around you. When there is a sense of desperation and graspiness at the front of the energy, this can, this can often um, shift into like a hooking into other people. So like, you know, this, this graspy hooking in because you are in that root chakra primal energy of survival. Again, that desire to pop out of the body and there is oftentimes an intense fear or a general unsafe feeling that's associated with this. So the first step in shifting out of survival mode is to recognize what your energy is doing when you're in this state. If you can connect with your root chakra energy starting to snap up and pop out of your body as your energy projects forward and you get graspy like you're looking around for what's going to, where can you grasp a, a lifeline? Where can you find something to grab onto that's going to help you stay afloat? So if you can connect with this in your energy, then you can start to shift that. Awareness is always key. Awareness creates a space, it creates a buffer, it creates a separation from what is happening so that you can shift what is going on in your inner experience. And this is so, so essential. When you are held in a chronic state of fear and chronic state of survival mode, it makes you vulnerable to all sorts of things. And when we cannot get past the root chakra, we can't rise up to see anything else that's going on in these higher energy centers. So if we're going to shift into a space of operating from love and unity and awareness and kindness, we must address the root chakra and we must address where it is that this chronic underlying stress may be impacting our lives and our energy in our physical body. The physical is connected with the energetic. So let's work with this presentation of survival mode so that we can begin to heal what's happening at the root and shift up and rise up. So 
Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that this video was helpful. I look forward to bringing so much more information to this channel, and keep a lookout for some exciting new things to come. Bye!